Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC World and Wimbly Womblies. Today taking on Doncaster. I believe they're the brooms? The wizards? I don't know, but we're home again. And you'll recall that we are undefeated at home this season. So I'm feeling good. Um, in fact, we're undefeated in the whole season. But we, we've won all two of the games we played at home. So I feel good about where we are. I'm excited for this game. I've, I've already gotten too negative in this series. We're playing... A team with horizontal stripes, which I have a long-standing opposition to. I think that stripes should be vertical or not at all. But it's not obviously my place to judge. I'm here to solve your problems. This problem comes from Rebecca, who writes, I'm a high school senior and I'm getting my associate's degree while I graduate from high school. I live in a small area. Graduating class of 50 is big around here, so I feel pretty unique for doing this. But there are actually tons of other people doing what I am. Not where I am, but they do exist, and I'm feeling exhausted and like my efforts aren't worth it. I have one semester left, but I'm worn out. The problem is that I've worked really hard, but I don't feel like it was worth it. What do you think? Does it matter if I'm unique? Is it worth it? This is really two different questions, but I remember them being related in my head when I was uh, in high school. So um, so I want to I guess I want to try to um, address both of these problems, Rebecca, the problem of that you don't feel like you're special because there are tons of other people who are doing what you're doing, even though they aren't in your area. And then the secondary problem of feeling like maybe um, all of this work is not um, is not worth it. So the first problem I remember. So I went to boarding school when I was in 10th grade and until I went to boarding school, I thought that I was pretty smart. I was never a good student, but I always kind of f figured that I was smart, if that makes sense. Speaking of figuring, we couldn't figure out a way to score there. Mr. Trotter came up short. I was ready for a pun, but instead I hit it over the bar, way over the bar. And then I got to uh, the high school, my the boarding school that I went to for high school, and I realized that uh, not only was I a poor student, I also was not that, I wasn't like n naturally intelligent, or at least like no more naturally intelligent than the average student at that school. And, and in some in most cases, much less, I, I felt like much less intelligent. And it was a real, uh, it was a real wake up call for me. It, it, it felt really weird and, and kind of scary to think that I wasn't that smart or I wasn't that special as a, a as a student. And, and in a way I'd always, even though I'd never been a good student or never been, you know, I'd never like had good grades and stuff. I'd always sort of, in a way, I'd always sort of skated by on my sense of my own specialness, my sense of my own uh, being like, I think because I'd been told that I was smart and stuff, I always felt like I was smart. I always felt like I had a lot of potential and like I, I would deal with, oh God, the problems of my potential later, if that made sense, you know, like that I would at some point fulfill that potential. And then I got to high school and I started to realize, mm, well, when is that point going to be and how much potential do I actually have? Because I started to interact with people who were, you know, much or it seemed to me much, much smarter than me. And in many cases, I still know those people and they are still much smarter than me. So that wasn't really a feeling that went away for me. And it seems like that's part of, oh, it's hit the post. It seems like that may be part of what you're feeling is a, a sense that you know even though what you're what you're doing or who you are feels unique in your community that maybe it doesn't feel unique on 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 some wider scale that's always going to be the case like there's never going to be a time when you're not feeling that's pretty good but it hung up for too long I think that's always going to be uh, always going to be the case. And in some ways, like that's why you can't do th or that's one of the reasons why you can't do things to feel, you know, to, to that, that. That's why being unique or being amazing is not a particularly stable fuel for doing things or making things like I almost just gave up a goal. But George Long is a genius and very handsome. Look at the jaw. Don't get mad. Longy. What's your nickname? Long. Mm. Oh, God. Everything worked out better than expected. King George the Third. I don't know. I don't have a nickname for you yet. Or for really any of you guys. Uh, except for the Messi from Montserrat, who's currently, I believe, on the ball. There he is. Just dribbling. Just doing that Lionel Messi thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. Shaming his opponents. He's just going to go for it. He's just going to go for it. And by go for it, I mean pass the ball. Get there. Oh, it didn't work. I tried very hard, but it didn't come to fruition. There's so much effort in this world. Like, I, I definitely understand the urge to make things because you want to be uh, amazing at something and you want to be the best at it. And I, under, I, I, I feel that. But I think the stable motivation is to make stuff because you want to get better at it or to learn stuff because you want to understand the world better or you, you, you have a sincere desire to be able to place yourself in, 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 in the context of the universe better or, or, or more accurately or whatever. To me, that stuff, like that, that fuel burns maybe less bright but longer than the fuel of wanting to be amazing or, or wanting to prove to people how awesome you are or, or whatever. It, it's hard to... I mean, I know that it's hard. I know that it's hard to engage with that, but I, I, I do, I do think that ultimately, it's, it's never going to feel like enough. And so, I, I, I suspect the feeling that you have is a feeling that you're going to keep having throughout your life. Why do they show the male toilets in such, such close detail? Like, of all the things they could have put in the game, why did they put the male toilets so prominently? They could pick any angle at which to show the stadium. Like, there's a person at, at EA who made that decision. They were like, well, I mean, what should we show? I guess the male toilets. It's weird. Anyway, we got 45 minutes left to find a goal. We've looked horrible. That's the only word for it. But uh, we do have two John Greens on the bench, which is pretty good bench to have when you're a third-tier soccer team. Then there's the second question. The question of, is it worth it? And, you know, all of the extra work that you put in, all the extra effort that you put in uh, to, to get your associate's degree while you're still in high school, to put yourself in a position where you'll be able to uh, graduate faster or graduate with maybe with less debt, whatever the situation may be. I think the answer to that question is that you you can't feel like something is worth it until you know why you're doing it. You can't feel like you can't you can't measure the worth of something or the value of of work that you're doing until you know why you're doing it. Like there's that great scene in The Simpsons when Homer is you know, he he's at his job and he's working at the nuclear power plant and it's, you know, not a great job and he doesn't love it. I was fouled and that is a yellow card referee because I was prevented from definitely oh I guess it's not a yellow card. Okay. I, th I feel that I was prevented from a clear goal-scoring opportunity, but I guess world, the world is full of disappointments, and in the scheme of them, this is a relatively minor one. Uh, so when you, don't, when you don't know... Anyway, in this scene in The Simpsons, it's, it's, like a, it's like a famously moving scene in The Simpsons because even though Homer is a buffoon of a character and he has this joke of a job as a, a, a not particularly effective safety coordinator at a nuclear power plant, he is doing, it becomes clear in showing the pictures, like the camera pans and it shows the pictures of his kids and it, that's why he works. And if you can have a purpose like that, where you know why you are doing something, whether it is for your kids or for yourself or for your family or to prove your haters wrong, I don't think that's a great motivation, but I think it can work. Whatever it is, if you can have that, if you can have that sense of purpose, then you can answer the question, is it worth it? But not until then, because you can't know why you're doing it. And so you can't know whether or not the work is valuable, whether or not it, whether or not it's, it's helping you toward that purpose, toward that reason that you want to be here in this world. And, and, and I, like, I honestly kind of can't get out of bed without some sense of purpose because I can't, like, oh, God, uh, I mean, this is very frustrating and I'm going to have to make some changes. Wait, what did I just do? Did I just accidentally stop recording? I don't know. But if I didn't, regardless of whether I'm still recording, I'm going to make these changes because I can't, we can't go on like this. It is unacceptable. We've got to bring on Green and Green, nay Bennett, and we've got to change something else. Maybe we need a better team in central midfield. Maybe I'm going to go straight 4-4-2. I'm going to go straight 4-4-2, guys. 
I know that nobody likes it, but I know how to play it. 442 flat. It's the flattest of the major sub. There we go. And then, but the only the only thing I'm going to do differently here is this. And then that's what I'm doing. All right, let's do it. We're bringing on Parrot next time there's a stoppage in play. And we're going to, we've got 15 minutes left to find a goal and we're going to win this game. So I think you, you can answer, you'll be able to answer that question. Oh, George Long! Go! Oh, oh my God! How did they not score? I mean, that is just, that's what happens with horizontal stripes, man. I don't even know if that's a goal kick or a corner kick that was so bonkers. All right. I just want to point out that we do not seem to have recovered in any meaningful way uh, from the unspeakable disaster of that own goal three, three or four games ago. It's like we'll never be the same. Uh, I mean, it's starting to feel that way, isn't it? Let's see. There's, we've got, oh my God, he's just, he's pure pace. He's, he's too good for this league. Go! Oh my God, it was terrible. The finish was awful. It was a disaster. I made three substitutions all at once. They've got a kid named Alfie May. It's intimidating. Andy has a man bun. Oh, boy. Hope we can win this game facing off against a man bun Alfie May. That is an ill-advised shot. It's the only word for it. It's disappointing to see you even attempt that poor man's Landon Donovan. I'm going to start calling all of my players by what they look like. Um, uh, beginning, beginning with Ball John Green, um... Skin pulled over a skeleton. <laughs> I, I, I honestly think the quality of the, like, facial features in FIFA has gotten significantly worse since FIFA 11. I think FIFA 11 was the peak for quality of facial features. No, obviously I wanted you to pass to the guy who was open. Dumb. Once you, once you have that sense of why... You, why you're doing this finding the energy to do it becomes easier that doesn't mean that it will it will still come or even that like you can push yourself infinitely because of course you can't no one can and trying to do that is a recipe for disaster disaster that i have like witnessed in my own life on multiple occasions so don't do that but you can push yourself harder and you can get more done when you have a sense of purpose or at least i can uh john green can you just get open instead of weirdly what are you doing? Trying to... Okay. Get pass. John. Glass kick of the game! God, that's frustrating. It was Frankenstein. He had an opportunity at the end. It's pretty clear that we're cursed. Really concerned about the curse. We won that game 3-1. And then... Skin pulled over a skeleton is also concerned. It's very weird. I'll see you next time. Best wishes.